what is the sum of one fourth and two eighths? So the first thing we know is the sum means what? Sum means to add, okay? So I know I'm gonna add one fourth plus two eighths. And with a lot of you, I've said, the first thing you see when you're adding or subtracting fractions, we've said mark your space so you know that there are three clear steps. So we know on when we were breaking it down by steps, we're gonna find the um, common denominator up here. We're going to make equivalent fractions here, and then we're gonna rewrite and solve here. And this way, you don't miss any steps, right? Okay, so some of you still really do well setting your thinking up like this. Some of you are ready to, or are able to organize your thinking in your own way. Okay, so do it how it works best for you, but don't miss the steps, right? Okay, so our denominators are four and eight. So let's find a common denominator. How many of you could just see that? Hopefully, many of you. Okay, so we know, Colin, that our denominator is going to be eighths. So now we come down and we say, all right, now I need to make equivalent fractions or make the exchange. So, my denominator is going to be eighths, and I can ask myself, what did I multiply four by to get to eight? So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So one times two is, and this, do we really even need to do anything? Because it's already an eighth. There's no exchange that needs to be made. So now I can rewrite and solve. One fourth, and somebody did this strategy, I don't know who, but I liked it. One fourth, when we made the exchange, became two eighths and two eighths, oops. Two eighths, so two eighths plus two eighths, I now can add, it becomes how many eighths? Four eighths. Four eighths. Now, the answer choice was four eighths, but in simplest form would be what? One half. One half, because we know we can divide the numerator by four and the denominator by four and get one half. But the, answer, the only answer choice you had was four eighths.